We want to go back to our top story and the latest on the breaking news from Maine. The suspect wanted in that mass shooting that killed 18 was found dead just a few hours ago. NBC's Chris Pallone has the latest now from Lewiston, Maine. In Lewiston, Maine, Friday night, the state's governor announced the news an entire region had been anxiously waiting to hear. I stand here to t tonight to simply report that the Maine State Police have located the body of Robert Card in Lisbon. He is dead. Police say they discovered 40-year-old Robert Carr dead near a recycling plant where he used to work, not far from where his abandoned car was discovered in the town of Lisbon Wednesday night. Police say he died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound, a gun found on the ground next to him. Like many people, I'm breathing a sigh of relief tonight knowing that Robert Card is no longer a threat to anyone. The discovery followed two days of intense searches with hundreds of law enforcement officers. Friday saw police increase their focus on a portion of the Androscoggin River in Lisbon. With investigators looking from the air, walking the riverbanks and diving beneath the water. This area is where police found Card's abandoned car moments after the shooting rampage Wednesday night that left 18 people dead at two businesses in nearby Lewiston. The river is a big piece of this. As Friday began, tens of thousands in the region remained under sheltering place orders. But with no sign of card since the massacre, local officials lifted that order Friday night shortly before finding his body. Victims' families are slowly learning more about their loved ones' last moments and sharing stories about how they stood up and faced death so others might have a chance to live, like Leroy Walker's son, Joey. He could have gone right out the back door. He was only 20 feet from the back door. He wouldn't have been possibly even shot at all. But I knew my son wouldn't do that anyways. I knew that was not going to be Joey Walker. Now, as the investigation turns to Card's motive, authorities are facing mounting questions about whether he should have had access to guns in the first place. Card's family tells NBC News they were increasingly concerned about his mental health after he began hearing voices and making threats. There's going to be an opportunity to answer all those questions. Now, a grieving community can come together to remember the lost, knowing their loved one's killer won't have a chance to kill again. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Lewiston, Maine.